Hi everyone, this is Sabrina with a quick um, project share. So I've been watching Ida Martinez here on YouTube and um, when I listen to Ida, Miss Ida, she makes me feel like, um, like she's in my head. Um, Miss Ida had a video not too, not too long ago where she was talking about packaging. Um, and for me, I felt like after I actually, you know, gather together whatever it is I'm sending or I'm making and putting the goodies together that I'm, I'm just tired and um, can't think of what to package it in because I've already put all my effort into everything else. But I started thinking and, and really what it is with me is that I, um, I hate to waste and it's actually some, something I'm working on. Um, I'm talking about the smallest, tiniest of, of scraps. I kind of, I save, um, knowing I can't really do anything with it. But I think about, you know, putting effort into a, a bag or a topper or a packaging that I know someone is going to throw out later and it just, it bothers me. And I know it's a me thing. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm trying to work on, on not being so obsessive even about the scraps but I don't want to put time and effort into something that that is going to be disposed of so quickly um, even with uh, my husband's boys group we do fundraisers for the for the uh, for the boys group so that could they could raise money um, for their group for for different things and um, you know, it was it was a challenge trying to come up with things that were either, you know, we like to make things that they can use more than once or use for more than one purpose, um, or at least be able to re-gift. So when it comes to packaging, I wasn't putting so much effort into it because I'm thinking, well, you know, they're, they're not gonna keep it, they're gonna throw it away anyway. Um, but Ida, Ida has inspired me. She um, she showed a box that she's part of a swap and a box that she made. And I'm going to put that link in the description box below. And uh, this is this is what inspired me. So um, I don't normally I don't uh, collect or or even buy the cigar boxes um, or the decorative boxes. I think they're beautiful, but I never you know I don't I don't really think about purchasing them or collecting them. However, I was buying these boxes and I have, I have a lot of them. Um, these are the celebrated boxes that Michaels sells and they're $1.50 or $1.49, or $1.49, so they're very inexpensive. Um, initially, I was making these um, with craft paper. I was making this smaller like four by six box and and using those for like little happy mail but i was finding you know as i'm putting little treats and all kinds of goodies in the box i was overfilling it so it was you know it was just too much the uh the little note cards and the tags they had too much dimension so um they just they weren't working because i couldn't even close the box i like these much better because it's sturdy i like something that is more you know that has a sturdier a sturdier base um, and I don't have to make it because it's already made and initially what I was doing with these was just I would stamp stamp on them and I would put stickers on it and uh, stamp on the inside and then use this as the packaging for, for whatever goodies I was putting in the box um, after watching after watching Ida <laughs> Uh, Miss Ida inspires me to to dig a little deeper and and that's what I that's what I did here so I took this box and I I snipped on the top I snipped these these edges I just cut them and then I adhered this back the back flap after cutting the edges to the bottom of the box so that it would flip open kind of like the um, the cigar box or like a jewelry box um, I adhered the ribbon of course you know to hold the box so that it'll it'll stand open um, I covered I covered the box with white gesso or white acrylic paint whatever I had 
on hand just to cover up you know the, the craft color and then I used pattern paper to go over the top and the bottom I didn't finish this one I'm not done with this to go over the the top and the bottom and, and the edges of the box um, I used double-sided tape and microfine glitter here to I don't I don't know if you can see the the shimmer I added bling um, I altered these flowers here and um, these particular boxes I'm, I'm using for the swap that I'm in with uh, Tamika who has scrapped the world here on YouTube so I'm putting the embellishment boxes in here um, this here I just cut a strip of paper I used washi tape I punched the edges and then I um, I sewed through with um, with yarn just for extra texture. I like bling and I like texture and dimension. So then on the inside, I just use, um, you know, pretty paper, pretty pattern paper. I measured and I cut the paper and I here adhered it inside and on the top. And then I created this flap so that, you know, the top space of the box could be used as well. And again, I was, I've, once you watch Ida's uh, Ida's video, you'll see, you know, where the inspiration came from. So I think these boxes are great just for for whatever goodies you're gonna send. Um, they're good as jewelry box, stationery box. Um, I'm gonna make some for a couple of people as prayer boxes and include a little notebook. And I might come back and do a, a quick video on that. Um, I went over the edges also with my nouveau embellishment mousse and I really I think it's I think it's pretty um, I've come a long way from from stamping stamping and and putting pretty stickers on the box and um, I thank you Ida I don't know Ida I haven't met Ida but guys if if you don't know who Miss Ida is Ida Martinez on YouTube please click the link below check out her channel and check out the video of the box that she did um, I think she was doing a swap with tea time and dolls and um, the box that she showed that that she created is incredible and um, she inspired me like I said she inspired me just to to, to dig a little deeper and and go a little further and I really really like this box I think this is something that someone would appreciate especially crafty folks crafty friends that they would appreciate and, and be able to get you know additional use out of so thank you miss Ida I appreciate you in your videos thank you everyone for watching um, and I'll talk to you later bye